Hi, Momentum. I am so excited this morning to introduce you to Fa. She is one of our ministry partners here at Momentum Youth Conference. She's been a friend of Momentum for a while now, and we're excited to introduce you to her and her ministry, Grow. Fa, so good to have you. Can you tell our students, why did you choose to pursue God's calling in your life to rescue children who have been physically and sexually abused? Yes. First of all, you have to understand, I haven't ever been here right now to sitting next to you. When I was born, my mom, she got very sick and then my dad so busy with taking care of my mom and he allowed another woman to take care of me and wrap me really tiny with old blanket and they put it in the jungle. Everybody thought that I'm die. When I turned about five years old, stranger come to my house and offer money to my dad, about $10 to, to buy. But my dad refused to take that money to save myself and my sister. When I turned teenager age, like so many here in this room, in Momentum, my mom passed away, and then my dad became drink, dr used drugs a lot, and alcoholic, and then he beat me really bad and I ended up, ended up to hospital. After I came out to hospital, somebody helped me to put in orphanage home, in children's home. I don't want to be there, but I can see that even I don't want to be there, but God had really big plan for me, what I'm doing here with Grow Ministry. In orphanage home, I learned so much about Jesus Christ. When I was 15 years old, I received my, Jesus my Lord and my Savior. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. So what you're telling us here is that you really shouldn't be here. Not at all. You, you had several significant situations where the enemy tried to take you out because he knew God had a major and beautiful and powerful calling on your life. That's incredible. How have you seen God working in the last nine years since you started GROW, which stands for Grace Refuge Outreach Worldwide? How have you seen God work? Our GROW ministry, God has been used by God to rescue 32 children so far. 32 children have been rescued off the street yes. because of GROW ministries. Yes. Wow. We have a uh, uh, campus in Northern Thailand. We based living like mom and dad, like like home family. Uh, live like you know foster care in the U.S. Here, we have been rescued 32 children, and then not only the children, we also uh, we parents. The parents turn to learn about Jesus Christ, and receive Jesus from what they see from their own children. So the setup is kids are rescued, mm -hmm. taken off the street, and they come to a home that looks like a home as opposed to an orphanage. And there's a foster care, there's your staff mm -hmm. act as parents to these kids who have, are so desperate for it. And then another aspect is you're helping parents, you're equipping parents, and hopefully introducing them to Jesus Christ as well. What would you tell a couple thousand students here about pursuing God's calling in their life. I'm really excited to share about this. I believe with all my soul that everybody has story. Amen. 
just share your story. Don't limit yourself and share your story. And they reach out, list your story, your skill, your talent can help one person for his kingdom. I come from nothing. I come from abuse. Everybody point to me then. Even your father, like, reject you. You from poor family. You grown up in orphanage home. You you cannot do anything. But in God, possible. In God, able. And I want to encourage you that be courage to share your story. Be courage to use your story. Ask God to use your story. I really want to encourage you that go out somewhere. The people who no one go and help. We can do together, make Jesus famous, mm. use every talent all together, together is possible. Mm.